Upgrading and building ships in Starfield can be confusing and nothing is really explained to you clearly. You're just sort of thrown into the deep end and told to swim. You may be encountering errors that you don't understand, trying to apply modules and the game slaps your wrist and says no. Or maybe you wanted to build an extra hab to sleep in on your ship and the game won't allow it and it won't give you an explanation. In this video, I'll unpack everything I've learned after nearly 100 hours of playing Starfield about how to build and modify ships. And the very first place we need to begin is not at the starport, it's actually in your skill tree. There are a few perks here in the tech tree that will immediately open up the world of ship building to you. A lot of cool things in Starfield are locked behind checkpoints in the skill trees. First, you'll need to start leveling up the starship design perk. At each tier, you'll gain access to better and better modules to install on your ships. Without these perks, you'll be extremely limited on what kinds of modules you can build and attach to your starship. Leveling up the perk requires you to purchase a tier and then install a designated number of unique mods to gain access to the next tier above that one. The last tier requires you to install 30 unique mods on a ship. So I actually recommend that you go out into space, start jumping from system to system until a spacer or Crimson Fleet or Varun Zealot ship ambushes you. When you're down to one enemy ship, disable it, take over the ship, make the ship your experimental ship. Take it back to the port, register it, and you're basically just gonna swap stuff around on this ship a ton of times in order to level up your starship design challenges. The next perk we need to invest in is piloting. The piloting perk will allow you to own and fly B and C class ships. B class ships are great for having a good balance between cargo space and defensive capabilities. C-class ships tend to be slow and less agile, but they can store a lot of stuff and have big guns on them to defend your loot. But the last thing you want is to find that you can't modify a ship because it's too high a level for you to operate. So get that piloting skill up to max tier 4 so no ship is out of your reach. Okay, now we have a ship we want to modify and we leveled up our starship design at least a little bit so we have access to a wider variety of mods. Now we're going to start upgrading and building onto our ship. So three things you need to know. First, as far as I know, you can't just build a ship from scratch. There's no place I've found in the game where you can just start with an open box of Legos and start assembling from nothing. You have to start with a ship. Now, you can literally delete everything on that ship and start fresh if you want, but you have to start with a registered ship. Second thing, when you speak to a spaceport technician, you have a couple of options. One of them is to upgrade ship. This is the more straightforward thing to do. Upgrading your ship is simply swapping out a component one-to-one -one with a different component of the same size and type. So you can select your shield module, swap it out for a different shield generator that goes in the exact same place as the last one. You can swap out a laser turret with a missile launcher at the same connection point where the laser turret was. Now you may run into an error on the lower left side of your screen that says you have to have a specific tier of starship design in order to upgrade an item. Because some ships happen to come with a high level attachment or two, and you simply aren't skilled enough to modify that item, so keep that in mind. The third thing you need to know is how to use the ship builder interface. This is unlike the straightforward upgrade ship interface. If you go into the ship builder menu, you'll be able to completely move around any item on the ship. You can detach the landing gear, pull them out to the side, and then swap in some extra walking space inside the ship, and then put the gear back on on the new exterior of your ship. You can add cowling to make the ship look cooler and more aerodynamic. You can delete the cockpit and install a new one with better visibility and crew space inside of it. It's really just dragging and dropping, but there's a lot of intricacy here, so let's dive into it. First and foremost, you can only install modules at the same class or lower than the class of your reactor. So if your reactor is a B-class reactor, then the modules you can attach can only be A and B, but no C-class ones. Does that make sense? Second thing to note, you will run into lots of rules about how ships are to be built. And chances are you're going to inadvertently break a lot of those rules. So instead of playing the guessing game, you're going to need to use the flight check menu in the lower right. When you open up the flight check, it will list any and all current errors and explain to you exactly what you did wrong. For example, your docking module needs to be on the far exterior because nothing on your ship can bump into whatever it is that you want to dock with. Your docking bay needs to have an interior route 
to your cockpit so you can actually walk from your cockpit to the docking bay inside your starship. You can't have any floating pieces unattached to the ship. I mean, you get the idea. But the flight check will also show you warnings, the most common one being that you have added a lot of stuff onto your ship and it's getting quite heavy. So heavy, in fact, that you're going to be like a space slug and your engines can't actually handle all that weight too gracefully. If that happens, you have two options. First, you can delete a heavy module or two to bring your weight back in line with your engines, or you can upgrade your current engines or add additional ones. And one other quick tip, if you add weapon systems to your ship, then you'll have to designate a group before you can fully install them. This is in the flight check menu as well. So open up the flight check, tab over to the next page, and you can assign which weapon grouping you want your new gun to be assigned to. Also note that in order to add something new to your ship, you need to select a connecting point on the ship itself first. But basically you're playing a little mini game here. You can't have everything all at once. You're gonna need to pick and choose what's important to you. That's why I actually recommend having multiple ships that serve multiple purposes. You may want to have a ship that's slower and less agile but has lots of cargo space and extra shielding. This one is for hauling loot and resources exclusively and bugging out of any space combat situation that you may find yourself in. Then you're going to want a fighter. Limited cargo space but can bank fast, get behind enemy starships and shred them to bits with powerful lasers and ballistic weapons for those extended fights out in space, especially the ones where you're taking on lots of enemy ships and there's just one of you. It's like that old saying, horses for courses. Make sure you understand the course and bring the right horse. Also worth noting, in the shipbuilder menu, you can also customize in great detail the colors of each module so you can have a ship that really suits you and is full of character and unique in the galaxy. Rename it something cool like the Hammer of Soul or the Voidwalker. I sure hope you found this video helpful and informative, and if you did, then please feel free to leave a like on the video and subscribe for additional Starfield tips and tricks. Be warm and well-fed, my friends, and I hope to catch you among the stars.